So typically when people have heart failure, what you're really speaking about is the left side of the heart being unable to effectively deliver blood to the body to meet all the needs of the body. When that happens, Dr. Robert Scott says a left ventricular assist device, or LVAD, can be implanted in patients to help pump blood. How it works is it sucks the blood from the left ventricle into the device itself, and then it actually gets pumped up into the ascending aorta. You're bypassing or doing the work of the left side of the heart. It's open heart surgery that requires aftercare of the device. When these devices are implanted, there is this part that comes out of your body, and this in fact powers the device, and this is called a drive line. A control unit and battery pack are worn outside your body and are connected to the LVAD through a port in your skin. Patients who might benefit from placement of an LVAD device include those patients waiting for a heart transplant or those patients who have heart failure but aren't eligible for a heart transplant due to age. Patients who want a good quality of life, patients who don't mind going through a major operation with the knowledge that afterwards they're going to be able to have a reasonable quality of life and do some of the things they were doing beforehand or ideal candidates for this type of therapy. These devices are put in people so they can live their life. It's not meant to put in just to be alive. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Jason Howland.